2018 just around the corner, April the 9th to the 13th. Uh, this week we're featuring on MTD CNC's videos this Akuma Moltas B200 II from NCMT, which will be at the show and you'll be able to see. Richard, tell us a little bit about this machine that we're featuring this week. Yeah, okay, so this is our Maltus B200. It's the smallest in our range of Maltus machines. So very compact, very small footprint, but still, you know, very high speeds, fast productive machine. Single turret, twin spindle. I was going to say, it did, when I opened the door, I wasn't expecting two spindles. Well, I was probably expecting two spindles, but I wasn't expecting the, the mill turn or the milling head. How have you managed to get it all in such a small, tidy sort of footprint? Well, that's it, really. It's basically just... Uh, getting the space used up well. And one of the main things is Prex motors. Akuma's got their own motors on the spindles. They're called a Prex motor. They're a much more compact unit, um, but still deliver the, the best amount of power that we can get out of them. So making the footprint really small, but still keeping a good working envelope. What, what about the Y axis on this? How, how big is it? Because it would look to me that it might be inferior to some of the competition, but is that the case? Uh, on this machine, it's plus or minus 80 on this machine. So it's, you know, it's reasonable for the size of machine that we've got. Yeah, that is that is quite. I was expecting it to be less than that. And what about the what about the milling on this? Then you talk about power. What sort of power have you got and speed have you got in that uh, milling spindle? I think with this size of machine, it's more about the speed. So we've got a twelve thousand RPM uh, spindle on this, um, but it's a seven and a half kilowatt spindle. So it's still a reasonable amount of power for the speed that we've got on the machine. And can you have these machines with just one spindle, with a single spindle, so you don't have to go for the for the for the dual spindle? Yep. Yeah, that's possible. So we can have a tail stop with a single spindle, or we can have it without the tail stock at all. And how new is the model? The model's been around for a while, but the Series 2, which is what this one is, is the, the upgrade. It's more about the control and the look of the, of the machine itself, but the physical machine underneath is still the same machine. OK, so on the control, I was going to talk about that. What has changed? What's good about what you've got here on this uh, OSP control? So this is the latest control, so it's the P300SA control. The A is the part that's the new part, really, but it's all about um, hardware on the control itself. So it's now a solid-state drive, so everything runs a lot faster on the control itself. Um, there's new drives that talk to the control, so the, the talking time between the control and the drives is down even lower than what it was before, so response is very fast. Uh, with, with all this technology, Richard, and what looks like a lot of work they've put into this machine, is it affordable for most engineers? Yeah, I think within this sort of this footprint, this size of machine, this type of machine, it sort of competes with the rest of the market. But you are getting a good amount of technology on the machine. Do you offer things like di direct drive spindle motors on both the spindles, the main and the sub, uh, to give you that extra power and control? Yeah, I mean, they are direct drive motors anyway on this machine. Um, these Prex motors are a direct drive. You can upgrade the motors to go for a VAC, to go for a bit more power. Um, that is a possibility to do on the main spindle and on the sub spindle. Because I was looking in there as well at the size and I was thinking, well, where, where's the tool changer for the milling head? And how many tools could you, could you have? Surely you can't have too many because there's not much space to put them. Yeah, well, this machine, you can have um, 20, 40 or 60 and it goes out the back of the machine. So obviously 60 being the biggest does make the back of the machine expand slightly from what the standard footprint is. And, and what, what is the spindle mount or the spindle nose on that or the spindle mount on the milling? On the milling, this is HSK 63 as standard. We can have a Capto C6 as an option. So we are talking about speed and flexibility, really, with this model, aren't we? I even know you've got a pretty big window as well for, for visualising what's going on. Yeah, you see, Akuma do try to give you nice big windows on most of their machines. So, you know, good visualisation of what's going on in the machine on both spindles, not just one. But mind you, I think you'd probably not need to worry too much about what's going on because that control's sophisticated enough to verify uh, that you're not going to have an incident, I would assume, is it? Yeah, that's correct. So all the Maltus machines come as standard with our collision avoidance system, which is a 3D model-based system, constantly checking the, uh, the machine and the movements, even in manual mode, so you're not going to have a collision on the machine. And you'd have thought I'd known that, but I, I genuinely didn't. So there you have it, Hall 19 on April the 11th, MTD CNC will be filming live, and this will be one of the, the highlights we'll be looking at. You need to get yourself to Mac, uh, April the 9th to the 13th, we'll be filming live with NCMT on April the 11th on their stand in Hall 19. See you there. Thank you.